Loot lottery? Oh! Are you kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me? Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. Hey what's up guys Johnny here back with more Shadow Gun Legends and today's video we talk about the PvP changes in the update 084. There's been a quite a few changes in PvP and the hardcore PvP players noticed right off the bat a lot of stuff to talk about. So we're gonna start first by talking about the gear because it's been tested by Insulin Maze, he's been spending some time on the first day of the release. He tested the gear and since the update it seems that there's no longer a difference if you're wearing a legendary gear you will no longer get an advantage if you're wearing all legendary stuff it used to make a difference if you were wearing all legendaries and your opponent was wearing epics you would get reduced damage so since the update you should wear your armor with the best perks and ignore the rarity now the next change is to the weapons it used to have an advantage to use legendary weapons because they had a hidden buff for example, if you use a legendary weapon with 132 damage and then an epic weapon with 132 damage, they would not deal the same damage in PvP. The legendary was getting a little extra damage. It made a pretty big impact on the meta. Everyone was using legendary weapons. And when you get a weapon, if it was not legendary, it was pretty much useless. Now with the recent changes, it doesn't matter if your weapon is epic or legendary, if you like it, if you get good fire rate, good damage, it's gonna be decent for PvP. Now the problem with the weapons though is, instead of buffing everything to the same level, they just removed the buff to the legendary weapons, so everything is doing pretty low damage right now, and it has an impact in the game. A lot of guys don't like it that much, because it takes a lot of bullets to kill people, especially when they have good gear, especially when they have projectile resistance. So it changed the way the game is played a little bit. And it is frustrating in duels, for example, uh, the shotguns seem to have bigger advantage now because you have a lot of time to get close to your opponent. It takes a lot of bullets to kill you and you'll get close with the shotgun and have a better chance to win your duels. Now in team PvP, from what I've read in the comments from Kulda, uh, it seems like now that you're not doing enough damage, you don't have a high chance to kill multiple opponents with your weapon. In 1v2 situations, you are at a bigger disadvantage now compared to before the update. So we covered the weapons, we covered the armor. Now I want to talk about the rewards because there have been a huge change also. Now the loot lottery is totally different. It used to be only war points, whether you win or lose, but now you can also get gear, weapons, and legendary weapons the new legendary weapons that are in the daily missions they can now drop in loot lottery so whether you win or lose does not impact your chance of getting gear and when you get gear it's a whole loot table you can get blue items you can get purple items and you can get legendary items now there's another thing i want to tell you guys there's a new legendary and I don't count the new ones from the daily missions as legendary, they are Neo weapons. So Neo weapons are old epics that are now have the legendary rarity, so they have 8 perks instead of 4. A lot of guys say what's the point of legendaries now since it's so common. Well I don't consider these new Neo ones as legendaries although they have the rarity because legendaries have unique models but these Neo ones are not unique you can get multiple different colors you can repaint you can put stickers but there's a new unique legendary and it only drops in pvp loot table it has been found already it's called la croix sniper and it's been talked about on the mad stream although they did not show it but here's a quick look it's purple it's got a super unique scope compared to what we've seen before. Now here's another screenshot, and thanks to the guys on Discord, Whiteflower, Aspect, and a lot of other guys posted uh, their screenshots on Discord so we can have a look, and I even have the stats for you guys. Now that one's from Alpha Mine. You see the Lacroix got 1232 damage and 52 fire rate. So it's less damage than the True Patriot, but it's got faster fire rate. It's got decent range, decent uh, accuracy. 
The downside of this weapon is the clip size. It only has five bullets in the clip. So this is a pretty big disadvantage, whether you play PVP or PVE. It's not something people like. No matter why, it's a nice weapon and your only chance to have it is play a lot of PVP and you're gonna get it. A lot of guys got it already. So today we're gonna play some PVP guys. I did a lot of duels yesterday and I did more duels today. I didn't get lucky, I got a bunch of rewards, but no legendary Lacroix yet. But my build for PvP now is ignore legendary gear and go for my best perk. So I go with my triple crit shoulders, the Raptor Plus. Uh, I will use the Ferragini shotgun and I will go back to auto fire guys. I know a lot of guys say it's cheap, but it's your best chance to win right now is use the shotguns until they do something about it. I think for duels is the best choice. All right, we got Cano Croil with the Nico. I'm gonna chill a little bit before the game starts. One second, let's go. This is a great map for shotguns, by the way. And another thing that changed in uh, PvP, I forgot to mention, is the outlines. You know you get blue and red outlines. Oof. Yeah, there you go. So when you're not aiming at the opponent, you don't see the color, you don't see the outlines. But when you aim, now it highlights with the blue or red. Oof, he's got blink. So it means it doesn't have lots of HP, right? Yeah. So blink is very powerful, but the downside is you don't have HP. And EMP is going to be very good versus blink. When we can activate. Oof. Yeah, there you go. He blink and he got headshot. I think it's my first though. Three kills. And we're about to activate EMP. I'm gonna go right in the middle. Activate. So he cannot blink, he cannot deflect her. Yeah, you had to reload. So killing spree. Four zero. Let's finish. We got the deflector to end the game, so let's do this. Over. There you go. GG. Five nothing. And let's see the loot. Okay, so back to hub. Loot lottery. Oh! Are you kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me? This is ridiculous. Well, I didn't think I was gonna get it like right now, but hey guys, surprise, surprise. I guess we're gonna have some gameplay, boys and girls, if you're watching. I'm pretty hyped right now. Are you kidding me right now? Impossible. Impossible. I got La Croix. Uh, no base damage. We got 10 elites, 11 crit, fire rate reload. I mean, it's my first one. I don't know if you can get more of these and you guys let me know in the comments, but let's equip that thing and go in a blue mission and see what happened. Guys, it was my only duel on the video, but I did play a few duels just before that. Okay, I didn't get it on my first try, but I realized I had the wrong setup. I played versus Apokasi. I had AM bomb and I had a um, med kit. So I did not show he beat me 5-3 uh, or something. Uh, and then another game, I uh, the guy quit. I was 4-0 and he quit, so I did not put that. But another one, I crashed. And I had to go in my inventory to see what my reward was. And it was gloves. Anyways, I got it, guys. Lacqua. So let's play a blue mission and see some gameplay. Let's go for some gameplay, guys. This is the Lacqua Sniper Rifle Red Reticle. And let's go and snipe some bad guys. Yeah. You want some more? There's one. There's two. Oh, he's got the sound like the cryonic scream sniper. Gonna be out of ammo already. So that's the downside of this one. Five bullets is pretty annoying. But I love the sound, man. Let's go, man. We got more ammo. Boom. Wait, what? 
Not again. Ooh. Hello. And stay down. I don't want to take a shot there. Boom. No. You play? Okay. This guy. And this guy. Oof. It was not not so beautiful. Oh, no scope. So this is Lacroix first impression. Decent damage, decent fire rate. Uh, and the sound is like the cryonic scream. I like the sound. Um, let's compare the accuracy maybe with the other snipers. So cryonic scream got 3.3 .3 and this one's got 2.9. So it's pretty close. But compared to the Patriot, Patriot's got 2.1. So Lacroix is faster, more accurate, and better range than the Patriot, but losing a little bit of damage. So it's a decent one, but really the big downside is five bullets. Uh, it's very low, okay, and it's annoying for real. Uh, so I guess in arena it's gonna be annoying, and in PvP also. But still very good looking weapon, and you have to play PvP to get it, guys. It doesn't drop in dungeons, so good luck. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Did not expect to drop this today. I was just doing a random PvP video, but hey, uh, turn out I got lucky today. Hit the like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guys, I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.